Hello again guys, if you follow the channel closely you might have noticed that there haven't been any videos over the last few days. Couple of reasons for that. One, my family came in this weekend so I didn't have any time during that to make videos. Whatever, right? But two, on Sunday night I went out for a run. And I've been running for years. I've been running since high school, which is, you know, lots and lots of years ago that you don't need to know. But while I was out for my run, everything was going just fine. It was a little bit dim, late evening type hours. There was a lip about this big between the sidewalk and the asphalt in one particular spot. And it's literally a little hump that's about two inches wide that even during the daytime, it's kind of hard to see. And I face planted. I face planted hard. And as you may have even been able to notice in this video, I've got, you know, bandages and bandages and yeah, let's not even get into that. Knees and just everywhere else. I am broken and bruised and battered. Nothing big and bad damage, just ow. But the reason I wanted to make this video for you is to remind you that if you do not already, use a screen protector. There are usually two different kinds for phones. You've either got the plastic ones that don't provide a huge amount of protection but might keep you from scratching your phone screen, and then you've got the tempered glass ones, which is what I'm recommending here. I picked these up over on Amazon recently. I think they're $5.99 for two-pack. These are specifically for the iPhone SE, and if you can tell here, the iPhone SE is pretty much undamaged, whereas the tempered glass screen protector, not quite so much. The majority of the damage that you're seeing on there is actually from taking it off, but the bottom, all of the really shattered up section at the bottom, that's from where it hit the concrete. And just think, that could have been the damage to my phone. And because of what's effectively a $3 piece of tempered glass, now I don't have to replace the entire screen on my phone. I would also go as far as to say, if you're going to be doing any sort of activity with your phone, or if there's any chance that you could drop it, if it's just kind of slippery or anything, put a case on it too. They'll tell you to put skins on it, and I'm sure skins are just great, but realistically speaking, if you're going to drop your phone from any sort of height, and technically my phone probably only dropped from about a foot, a foot and a half off the ground, but then it skidded about 10 feet away from me without a case on it, and again, I had a case on it, I would've ended up with a lot worse damage. I do have a couple of little nicks in the metal in the corner, but to come out of all of this, having a total of $15 worth of accessories on it that don't really add any bulk to the device, and not to have to do any sort of repair or replacement to the phone other than putting a new screen protector on it, you should absolutely think about it. I know there's going to be a lot of people that say, oh, but we buy the devices so they'll be slim and sleek and so you can actually see it. That's all well and good, but the first time you drop it and it breaks, you'll be wishing that you had. In my case, I'm going to be saying I will be buying these tempered glass screen protectors moving forward for all the devices that I end up using especially the ones that I use when I go running. I can't necessarily say that one brand is better than the other, but these are the ones that I use. That's JE Tech Tempered Glass Screen Protector. I'll put a link down in the description. It's specifically for the iPhone SE, but I know they make tempered glass screen protectors for all the different devices, and it doesn't matter what the brand is. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna see what's going on day-to-day -day life stuff, you actually get a little behind the scenes on how this happened, make sure to check out my daily vlogging channel. Again, the link to that will be down in the description. My wife was concerned enough that she actually actually picked up the camera and vlogged for a little while just to express her concern. But again, thanks so much for watching. Remember to leave a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to receive more, and we'll see you again next time.